<laughs> you bought one thousand dollars worth of lottery tickets. You know how I've been working on a secret project the past couple of weeks. I created an AI mm -hmm. that could generate winning lottery numbers. <laughs> it doesn't end there. Uh huh. I actually used it to generate winning lottery numbers uh -huh. and got a hundred dollars. Actually, a thousand dollars. What of lottery ticket? <laughs> you bought one thousand dollars worth of lottery tickets. I thought you were about to tell me. I created, I generated this number, and I bought the ticket, and I won a thousand dollars. But no, you're like, no, I bought a thousand dollars. Well, it's not actually a thousand. It's a hundred. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, I've got work for you. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so how does it work? So you, if you generated a number, did you buy lottery tickets based on that number? I don't, I don't actually know how I even bought so, buying yeah. lottery tickets <laughs> work. Are you even allowed, like, can you choose which numbers you so want? So I can actually show it. Okay, hold on to your hat, folks. And let me quickly explain how the lottery AI model works. First, I scraped the web for all the past winning numbers of the Lotomax lottery. Next, I had to train my AI to predict the next big winner. So I turned to the smartest machine out there, ChatGPT, for some advice. ChatGPT suggested several options, but I decided to go with the Generative Adversarial Network, or GAN for short, because it sounds like some space age technology straight out of a sci-fi movie. Or maybe it's because I had previously read about it when I discovered thispersondoesnotexist.com. Here's the deal with GAN models. At the heart of it, there are two machine learning models, a generator and a discriminator. The generator creates new data and the discriminator evaluates the data to determine if it's real or fake. So let's say the generator is trying to create a picture of a dog. It generates a picture and the discriminator checks if it looks like a real dog. If it's fake, the generator uses the feedback to create a better picture next time. This goes back and forth until the generator creates a picture that the discriminator can't distinguish from a real dog. At this point, the generator has learned how to create a realistic picture of a dog. Similarly, in my AI lottery model, the generator creates new sets of loto numbers while the discriminator checks if they are likely to be winning numbers. And just like with a dog picture, the generator uses the feedback to create better sets of numbers over time. It's like a game between the generator and the discriminator, with the goal of creating something close to perfect. We want to pay for our wedding, our mortgage. This one's for the wedding. This one's for a new house. This one's to get our dog a sibling. Oh, oh, we just lose a hundred bucks. <laughs> Who's we? <laughs> you lose a hundred bucks. <laughs> How many numbers did you base it on in the past, if that makes sense? Oh, um, over 830. This goes all the way back to 2015 or so. The data that I trained it with. What is gonna happen is, the draw was done yesterday. Okay. And Do we're actually just it? gonna check it. Yeah, we're actually gonna check it together. Right. To see if we won. So. Okay, I just have one quick question. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it that whenever AI creates photos or generates photos <laughs> of humans, they have like seven fingers <laughs> and like twice the amount of teeth? <laughs> Anyways, let's scan and see if we All right. won. <laughs> let's do this. It's gonna be the last one. <laughs> you know what they say? Never stop gambling. If you're losing, it's because you did. You just need to keep going a little further, <laughs> just a little more. Is this the last one? This is the last one. <laughs> free play. Free play. Okay. So, How many free plays? One, two, like? three, four, five. Wow. What did you learn from this? You can't predict randomness. I could have told you that. <laughs> I think it saved you a hundred dollars. <laughs> hey, you know, I was just curious as to how AIs work and I thought it was a fun project to, you know, try on. And I think I learned. I learned a lot. I definitely did learn a lot. I learned. Oh, I lost hundred dollars in the process. I learned that gambling. <laughs> It's fun.
fun. <laughs> just kidding. It's not when fun. It's we not just your lost money. money. <laughs> yeah. And it's not your money. Yeah. Thank you for teaching me about machine learning. Um, next time, don't buy a hundred dollars worth of lottery tickets. Or else, all you're gonna get is just five free plays. But hey, catch us at our next video when we cash in these guys and make a million dollars. Thanks guys, I'm Homo. This is Sapien. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us today in this video. <gasps> oh, 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 I'm in pain. I just spent hundred dollars and one nothing. Well guess what? I actually learned how to create a GAN model. So a hundred dollars for my curiosity. If you like this video? Hit that like tap, uh, hit that like button. <laughs> and subscribe for more content. See you next time. <laughs>